Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Daniel, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here in the PIC Lab. In today's video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of animal classification. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Let us now look at this question over here. Which of the following options are the characteristics of a fish? Before we begin to analyze the four statements over here, let us first draw a simple diagram of a fish and label all the necessary parts. A typical fish have a mouth, gills, a fin, scales, and last but not least, a tail. Now that we have labeled the diagram, let us discuss the function of these different parts. What is the function of the mouth? The function of the mouth is to allow the fish to eat. What about the gills? The gills allow the fish to breathe in water. What about the tail? The function of the tail is to help the fish to move forward and backward. In other words, it helps to propel the fish forward. Now, what actually helps to balance the fish and to allow the fish to steer from left to right? It's actually the fins of the fish. And last but not least, what is the outer covering of a fish? The outer covering of a fish is the scales, which helps to protect the fish from injuries. Let us now look at the four statements one by one. Statement A. Is it true that fish have fins to help them swim? This is true. Earlier, we have already determined that the function of the fin is to help to balance the fish and to allow the fish to steer from left to right. Thus, it is indeed true that the fins do help the fish to swim. Hence, I'll put a tick over here. Moving on, statement B. They all reproduce by laying eggs. Is it true that all fish lay eggs? This is not true. Hence, I will cancel the word all. This is because there are some fish that give birth to young alive. In the PSLE syllabus, there are a total of three fish that give birth to young alive. And these three fish go to the same school. Let me give you a hint. They all go to a girl's school. And this school is known as Methodist Girls School. Or in short, MGS. Now, what does M stands for? M stands for Molly, G stands for Guppy, and S stands for Sword Tail. Thus, to say that all fish lay eggs is not correct. Therefore, this statement is wrong. Next, statement C. They have moist skin as their outer covering. Is this true? This is not true. Earlier, we have already said that the outer covering of fish is scales, not moist skin. So let's cancel the word moist skin and write scales. As a form of revision, what group of animals have moist skin as the outer covering? The animal group is known as amphibians. Last but not least, statement D. Is it true that fish have gills to help them breathe in water? This is true. Earlier, we have already talked about the function of the gills, which is to help the fish to breathe in water. Hence, I'll put a tick over here. Now, let us go back to the question. The question is asking you to select the characteristics of a fish. In other words, we have to select the ticks. Can you tell me which statement is correct? Statement A and D. Hence, the correct option is option number two. Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!